living in poverty, you are already getting free food and free health care. And if you, you know, and, uh, you know, people abuse the system, you can also get in what they call Section 8 housing. You know, I owned my house. I bought a cheap house years ago, so I had no problem. But they'll give you that or some kind of housing allowance or whatever, rent allowance. And some people even get a couple, some cash, too, or whatever. So, okay, so the poor are taken care of. The unemployed are, you know, now, this, like this year, they're like, they've been taken care of. You know? Now, the people who have the good jobs, all those bureaucrats in Washington, all the politicians, all the people that work in New York, Wall Street, you know, the big companies, right? The Fortune 500 companies, right? Who do you think are the, you know, Silicon Valley, big tech? All these people that are like, seem like they're pro-socialism, pro-communism, pro, we got to get nationalized health care, right? Excuse me. Well, you work for those companies. The absurdity of those people is that if you work for a Fortune 500 company, a big tech company, Wall Street, the government, you know, these various bureaucrats, the FBI, CIA, if you're a postal mail delivery person, okay, all right, involved, you know, a Teamster driving a UPS truck, you get benefits, you get health care, okay? So if you are poor, you got free health care, free food, and a free place to live, okay? If you don't like that, that kind of thing, well, you at least it's it's what it's meant to be it's a safety net to give you a chance to like take a breath and figure out either you got to move somewhere or to figure out a way to get a job because you say well i don't want to live on food stamps and i don't want to live in this section 8 dump or i you know i don't you know i want to do that but at least that's there it's been there it's there it was there before obama he didn't do it okay he made it worse in many ways 